you're tuned in to 90.1 WRUV FM Burlington. Thank you so much for tuning in to Exposure this Wednesday night. I'm DJ Stevie Mix. I'm DJ P Breezy. And I'm DJ Dirt Kid. And here with us this evening is the wonderful Remy Russin and friends. And did you want to start off the show with a song for us? Incredible, thank you. And what was that song called? Uh, it was called I Gave Myself a Headache. Absolutely incredible. <laughs> now, if you don't mind, we'd love to hear a little bit about each of you. So if you could say your name and uh, what instrument and or vocals that you're playing and uh, your favorite band at the moment. Oh, man. Uh, well, I'm, well, I'm Remy. Uh, I'm holding a bass currently. Um, I like Talk Talk a lot. They're really cool. Um, so just pass the mic around. Yeah, yeah we can go next. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Evan. I'm on the drums, and I would say my favorite band at the moment is Howdy. Hello, WRUV listeners. <laughs> my name is Max Mazrick. I play guitar, and my favorite band right now is Idols. Um, and I'm on synths and keys, and 
and my favorite band at the moment is going to be Big Thief. My name is Connor Brock. I play guitar and keyboard as well. And my favorite band right now is also Big Thief. Fant Lots of good choices. Yes, I was going to say, yeah. we are Big Thief fans here. Yes. <laughs> Can you guys tell us where you're all from, too? I would love to hear what maybe brought you to Burlington, if you aren't from here, or if you started out here. Right yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, well, I'll, I mean, our answer is the same, so I'll speak for Evan. But, like, Evan and I grew up in Swanton. Okay. Um, and Burlington is just bigger than there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we wound up here. Um, Evan and I have been playing music together since we were like 13. Whoa. So. Thank you. Uh, I, I, grew <laughs> Sorry. I grew up in Essex, uh, Essex Junction, and I, I came to Burlington to go to UVM, uh, class of 2017. I also grew up in Vermont and grew up in Colchester and then went to UVM, graduated 2018. Um, and have been playing music since I was a wee lad. Um, I'm from a town called Queensbury, New York, um, and I moved to Burlington to basically play music. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. It's great getting to know you guys a little bit, and if you're ready, we'd love to hear another song. Cool.
You are tuned into WRUV FM Burlington 90.1. This is Exposure with Remy Russin. All right, what was the name of that last song? Uh, that was called Baboon Heart. Baboon Heart, nice. Okay, I wanted to ask a little bit about um, your most recent release. That was the EP, right? Yeah. And that was in July? Uh, yeah, in July. Okay, yeah. Yeah, could you tell us a bit about that, that release? Um, yeah, Maybe that process. That was that was sort of, um, I mean, COVID. So I was <laughs> locked inside, and I decided to I don't know, see if I can learn how to record like at home. Um, yeah. So that EP was just kind of like a like a technical exercise. Like you know, spent the the two years, um, like building a you know a primitive little home studio and learning like from the ground up, sort of how to make things sound decent um yeah that was that was sort of just a little quarantine project and that was math for poets yeah it was called math for poets gotcha. yeah great okay Incredible. looks like it is what time is it it is 6 58 p.m Again, you're tuned into WRUV FM Burlington, and it is time for a lovely little public service announcement. Yes, at the top of every hour. And with our guests on exposure, we like to have them pick a PSA oh, from our cool. PSA binder. Exciting. Read a message for us. Let's see what we got. We got some funny ones, some not so funny ones. All are equally important. We're just gonna, what's, what do we got here? Every topic you can think of. All right. It's in there. It is not the most structurally Reading stable the, well, <laughs> binder. I'll do my best not to bring it. Uh, you know, some people just don't eat well, and it's, it's a growing problem in the United States. Uh, did you know that more people consume artificial trans fats than they do vegetables? What will you have for dinner tonight? How about some kale salad? Cook up some organic chicken and a hard-boiled egg for extra protein. Throw in a few tomatoes uh, to get your fruit serving in there, and why not top it off with the avocados and olive oil to get your good fats? Eating well will make you feel better, give you more energy, make you look better. So hop on the healthy train and start eating those kale chips from your healthy eating DJs at WRUV FM Burlington. Woo, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> For your help. Perfect, and now I am very hungry. <laughs> oh, always. All right, and do you have a song for us up next? Sure.
absolutely incredible. What was the name of that track? Uh, it was called Hope You're Well. Amazing. Awesome. And to those of you just tuning in, you are listening to Exposure here on WRUV, and we are joined tonight by Remy Russin. All right, and we're going to take a little bit of a break from the music right now just to ask you guys some questions. Sure. All right. First of all, I want to ask for those who may have listened, kind of dug what you guys were playing, where can people find your music? Uh... Well, it's on it's on Bandcamp. It's okay. at Remy Russin, uh, dot Bandcamp dot whatever. Um, it's on all the all the big mm -hmm. corporate ones too. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's probably it's probably floating around other places. It's okay. it's uh, wherever you listen to music, I assume it's there. <laughs> Can you spell out your whole name for people? Just sure. Uh, yeah, R E M I, uh, R U S S I N. Perfect. Great. Yeah. And then also, where can people find like updates on like shows or albums or? Uh, yeah, I'm uh, I'm on Instagram at okay. math for poet math underscore four underscore poets. Okay. Um, if you're on DIY Burlington on Facebook, mm -hmm. I am uh, I'm on there a lot. <laughs> uh, yeah. Nice. Great. Awesome. So I wanted to ask about shows. Do you have any good experiences with? shows in the Burlington area yeah I, we yeah we had some some really good uh, experiences over at Swan Dojo awesome um, yeah I mean we, we sort of launched in the middle of a pandemic so we haven't we haven't been out too much but um, yeah Steve's putting on great stuff over at Swan um, yeah nice oh yeah we did we did foam that one time too sorry Dan um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we, we've we've been around. We're hoping to be around a little bit more now that the weather's you know getting nicer. So, mm -hmm. do you have any like planned shows at all? Uh, yeah, yeah. We'll yeah. be at the Monkey uh, okay. in Winooski in in May. I think the twenty sixth. Nice. Um, with uh, Beneath Black Waves okay. and Rangus, um, and then we'll be at Arts Riot in late July. Um, yeah, that's what we've got right now. Cool. Incredible. And we did just want to let listeners at home know we have our chat function up and running. So if you have any questions for the band, be sure to send us a message. We will be able to read your message live on air. Mm -hmm. Any questions? Any love for the band? Any hate for the band? Hate for the band? We are not haters here at WRUVFM. <laughs> And I know I personally am um, quite a big music history nerd, so I just have to ask who your who your favorite musical influences are for your writing, for your playing. What started you as a musician? It's a big question. It's yeah. a big question. It's Very really philosophical. Loaded. It's a loaded question. <laughs> um, no wrong answers. Yeah, though. I don't know. I mean, I go back to Talk Talk, right? Like I listen to a lot of like synthy stuff. Um, that's sort of my like home home base is like really deep synthy electronic stuff. Um, uh, yeah, I start there. I like a lot of new wavy like uh, New Order, um, Interpol, uh, that kind of stuff. Um, and especially like for this project, I've been I've been drawing on a lot of like uh, sort of indie pop like newer sort of. Um, yeah, I don't know, like slow pulp. Um, yeah, newer sort of a female-led indie pop is sort of where I've been drawing from recently. That is exact. I, I was picking up on a very timeless sound. I mean, having that new wave mixed into the mixed into the indie pop and having that synth-heavy, um, all those synth-heavy tracks. It's just it's it's Space. very interesting to listen to. It's very ethereal. Well, I appreciate that. I mean, <laughs> ethereal is a good word. Yeah. I don't know about you guys. I don't know what what. Um, what well, y'all draw from, I guess, just in your in your playing. You want the mic? <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it <laughs> yeah, I guess for this band, I've been pulling a lot of like Cocteau Twins type guitar yeah, sounds, like totally. you know that chorusy, jangly stuff. Uh, the Cure fits right in with that n new wave. Uh, so that's where I, I sort of try to complement these songs as best I can with with those styles. 
Nobody else wants to say anything. The passing. We're gonna pass that mic. I how did you know? <laughs> so um, this is the first time with this particular group that I've played since, and so it's been really fun to kind of explore the side of an instrument. And with um, Mitski's new album, Working for the Knife, that just recently came out, that I just talk all the time about. Um, <laughs> she also incorporates a lot of really interesting synths, and in her discography in general, um, big Mitski fan. It's been really nice to like be able to incorporate what I'm hearing and understand the instrumentation a bit more and trying to branch out and listening to music like that. Nice. All these names that you're throwing out and they're, they're just clicking. I mean, you know, you can get fans from all over, seriously. All across genres. It's the crappy version of all your favorites. <laughs> we're awesome. We are all right. Something cool, something new. Yes, we love Remy Russ in here at WRUV. Um... <laughs> is there anything else, like, other than music that you would say inspires your writing and your sound? Like, wow. maybe, like, art? We're asking or, the hard yeah, ones. Poetry, yeah. literature, um, anything. Life. Yeah. Springtime. Yeah. Just life experience? Um, I guess life experience, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, um, I don't know. I, I guess, I guess, I don't know if I'm close enough to this, but I guess music is sort of, um, my excuse to, to sort of process like the world around me in a way that I uh, maybe I'm not great at and shy away from. Um, it, it gives me like an excuse, a reason. Um, so I, yeah, so I guess, I guess life. Um, yeah, I mean, we have, we have a song uh, title after you know Legend of Zelda, so maybe nin nice. Nintendo. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Nintendo Land as well. I don't know. Um, yeah, I guess that's that's kind of a cop out answer, but that's I guess kind of the answer. No, that's a solid answer. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. You mentioned earlier too, like um, like the pandemic, like leading you to like try new things and explore different aspects of your music, and I feel like that's been a really common answer too. Yeah. And mm -hmm. like maybe it's not what inspires the music but it's something that helps like push people yeah totally mm -hmm. i mean i guess the silver lining to this sort of pandemic is yeah. you know a little renaissance of experimental whatever you do yeah mm -hmm. all right we also have our first chat of the oh, night no. exciting right. and so this is doing fabulous pals love mimi the cat uh -huh. Love from That's Mimi. So a feline <laughs> fan. Learn to read. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> and Mimi's type at that. that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mimi's got a good ear for music. Oh, yeah. totally. Let's <laughs> <laughs> get that associate's degree. <laughs> All right. We've been talking your ear off. We are ready to hear some more music if you are.
You're tuned into WRUV FM Burlington at 90.1. This is Exposure with Remy Russin. All right, what was the name of that last track? Uh, that was Key Swing. Key Swing, nice, cool. Um, I'd love to know, and this can be a mic passing event for <laughs> listeners who can't see this. Um, it's great. There's like a, ma- a mic that's just being like hot potatoed around the room, but um, I would love to know just in as little detail as you prefer uh what kind of brought you to music and um like how you all connected like to each other like how did you meet each other um i mean what i I guess what brought me to music was uh that my parents sort of made me pick up a clarinet when i was eight (laughs) and it's just kind of always been there um you know, like originally it was just sort of like I need an art credit and I don't know how to draw, so like yeah. I'll do this. And then um, I don't know, you just sort of hit a, a point in life where it's like this is, I guess this is the thing I'm, I'm good at, <laughs> or at least, you know, this is the thing I know how to do to some degree. Um, and <laughs> you just sort of build an identity around it. Mm-hmm. Um, so, but but as far as like, as far as this group goes, like, um, Evan and I, like like I said earlier, like Evan and I have been playing together for um, forever, um, and I guess when I when I had sort of this the the math for poets stuff done and you know thought about you know playing it out, um, you know Max and Amel, um, well Max and Amel, <laughs> <laughs> um, play in uh, play in this band called Lake Waves that are like one of my favorite bands in town. Um, and mm-hmm. so just kind of knew that I had to have them. <laughs> um, and Connor's sort of the same deal. Connor plays, um, it, it, like, as far as, as far as I'm aware, you didn't do anything really before this. You just kind of played in your bedroom and um, were amazing at it. And uh, I knew that I had to have him. <laughs> <laughs> um, so. I guess that's how we all came together, but I'll let speak, folks speak to their sort of personal histories. Uh, yeah, this is Evan. Um, uh, met Remy in third grade. Um, just been really good friends ever since. You know, literally started playing music at the exact same time, uh, you know, in elementary school with the, the wind instruments and such, and then <laughs> Picked up rock instruments in middle school at the same time, so learned how to play, you know, Blink-182 and Green Day covers together, and went from there. Um, I guess the rest of the band I just kind of met from just playing in the Burlington scene, and <laughs> perfect. <laughs> and yeah, going to an insane amount of shows. Yeah. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, this is Max. Uh, First instrument I played was actually trombone in fifth grade. I don't think I've ever mentioned that to anybody here, but Common theme. that is true. Um, but I was also one of those kids that was like really into classic rock, you know, 10, 11, 12. 
and so I, <laughs> I wanted to uh, switch to guitar. And I actually started on bass. I also haven't told anybody that. But um, yeah, so I, I picked up like the rock instruments, played in bands, you know, ever since then. Uh, like Lake Waves, as Remy mentioned so kindly. Um, and yeah, that's how I met Remy and Evan, uh, just from being fans of their other work with Community Garden and uh, Plastic Mammals. Yeah. So yeah, pass it over to Connor here. Um, yeah, I'm not sure exactly how or why I started to play music. I just kind of did. Um, but yeah, me and Remy have been friends for a while, and we've always kind of sent stuff back and forth. And um, when Remy was sending me the demos of these songs we're playing, in the back of my head, I'm like, I really want to like play in this band. Like, I really hope they asked me to to play in the band, and um, <laughs> luckily they did. Um, yeah, and here we are. Uh, yeah. Um, as far as starting to play music, I did not really have a band background. I got a guitar when I was 12 years old and learned how to play guitar by playing Taylor Swift songs. <laughs> um, and I still do. Uh, and it's been really fortunate. I have always had, especially you know, going to UVM, the Burlington music scene, and especially the DIY scene, is just a very special place in my heart to me over the years. Um, and I've got gotten to play with plastic mammals and community garden in lake waves um and i'm just very fortunate for the community that we have here and it's really what kind of keeps me going um especially after the past two years of just being you know utter garbage <laughs> and really challenging it's really nice to be able to you know attempt to kind of come out of that with um the community still being as strong as it is and that's very hopeful and very inspiring and I'm just very fortunate to play with these folks. Cheers to that. Yeah, absolutely. And just a quick one for our uh, UVM alum. Uh, did either of you ever um, DJ for WRUV or, uh, you know, get involved with the WRUV Burlington music scene? We actually didn't. I, I definitely went to one of the, you know, first sessions, but I don't think I could have done the graveyard shift. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I, I Amel didn't do it either. <laughs> I, it's one of my biggest regrets, though. I, I, I wish I had done it. I think it would have been. Two AM shows, so much fun, yeah. so much fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, listeners, I'd like to once again remind you of the chat. If you have questions or just some love to send, you can go to wruv.org, and there's a little chat button and you can type in some nice words um until then though can we hear another song yeah
we did get some messages in from the chat. Oh, no. <laughs> first off, can we hear the name of that last song? Uh, yeah, for... it's called I'm Trying. I'm Trying. Great. Thank you. Wonderful. <laughs> yeah. Smash hit. <laughs> <laughs> All lovely messages. And this first one... We don't have the name, but it says, Loving the Remy Russin Van. Fantastic music with two exclamation points. Wow, I got two? Two, mm-hmm. two of them. That's wow. Crazy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, thanks. <laughs> and we did get a listener question. So, listener, if you asked a question, get ready for your answer. And you might want to take the mic off the stand for this one. Right. <laughs> Getting you ready. All right. Um, what was the first live music show that each of you saw? Oh, man. Mm-hmm. Could be a big concert, could just be, you know, a band that you remember going to see, I, uh, play some little gig. I think it was, I think it was Sick Puppies. Uh, they, play, they played at a higher ground like three or four times, and I was, I was there for each of those. Wow. Um, yikes. <laughs> I remember being there for that as well. <laughs> but uh, I believe my first show was when I was five years old. I uh, went up to Montreal to see the Backstreet Boys. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, I think my answer is not going to be super exciting, but the first show I ever saw was like a school of rock sort of thing. It wasn't like the actual cast or anything, but it was like a bunch of kids playing classic rock songs. Um, and after that, it was this band called Backdoor Slam. Oops. Backdoor Slam. They were like a blues band. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, when I was probably about seven, my dad took me to see Brush. Oh, uh, so that was pretty cool. Uh, shout out to my dad for that. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm going to expose myself here. My first show... I think I was 13 or 14, and it was a combo show at Higher Ground with um, Cartel, The Main, We the Kings. There were some other folks there, too. I don't quite remember. And it was 2009. It was definitely 2009. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Seriously, the first live concert you see, that sticks with you forever. Yeah. It really does. Yeah. <laughs> kind of uh, keeping along the same thing I would love to know what are your guys' like favorite like f- venues or DIY spaces or like places you frequent a lot that you enjoy uh, hmm. I mean Swan Dojo again mm-hmm. is just like amazing yeah. um, and like it's, uh, like definitely one of the like most well put together and like proficiently run like DIY spots I think I've ever um, been to is, is definitely Swan. Um, Jim's is, is an institution, um, Jim's Basement, uh, rest in peace to Gloom Garden. Um, Christy put on some great shows back before the pandemic. Um, yeah, I, lo- I love a basement. Um. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> um, hi, listeners. This is DJ Ravioli. I'm popping in because I think that it's time for us to ask some silly questions. Oh, okay. Wait, actually, I changed my mind. First, I want to ask a more serious <laughs> question. No, not actually serious. Fun, but not, see, not silly yet. Um, I want to know, what is your ideal album for your drive-in it's a beautiful, sunny day. You're in a convertible. The wind's in your hair, and you're just driving. Where you can pick your ideal location. Like maybe it's along the coast. You got beautiful ocean. Maybe it's along the lake. Maybe it's among the meadows. What's the album that you have on? I mean, it's it's mint jams, right, Connor? <laughs> like, <laughs> it's it's a uh, yeah, Cassiopeia. Cassiopeia. I'm not quite sure. Um, it's like Japanese jazz fusion band. Um, it, it, absolute ideal. Pick. Like if you want to feel like you're, it, you know, in the middle of uh, a Mario Kart race, like, <laughs> just, just just put that on and like hop on eighty nine and just go. 
Mm. I think I'm just going to have to agree with Remy and Connor on the Mint Jazz <laughs> one. <laughs> I'm going to double down on that. Uh, the first album that came to mind for me was actually uh, TV on the radio's uh, Seeds. I think it was their most recent album from 2014. I don't know why I thought of that, but it's a good album. Um, the album I would pick, probably similar kind of vibe to Mint Jams. It's called An Insatiable High by Masayoshi Takanaka. Um, yeah, just ridiculous, like, jazz fusion, like, shredding guitar kind of stuff. Um, when I'm doing, like, that fun long drive, I like to usually go for, like, something a little more nostalgic that reminds mm -hmm. me of my childhood. So what comes to mind is... Uh, the Chicks' the second album, Home. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's one where I feel like I can scream along and also be sobbing by the end of it. And that's what I like in a, in a car ride. So. so, such a beautiful answer. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I can picture it. <laughs> um, okay. I think that we can do a silly question. Which, which one should we do, DJ Dirt Kid? Okay. I know. No, we could do more than one. Okay, okay. This is what this is maybe our favorite question to ask people, which is what is your favorite smell? <laughs> and it always stumps people. It does. There's so many good ones. It's not something you think of all that often. Um, hmm. Just to confirm, do you all have a sense of smell? Yes. yes, thank you. Okay. Thank you for asking. Because it actually has happened before that I asked that question and the person was like, Ooh. I was born without a sense of smell, and it was really <laughs> embarrassing for me. <laughs> That's unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> it really was. For me and them. Yeah. Uh, hmm. I don't know. Does anyone have one? Have one have <laughs> Cinnamon. Ooh. That's a good one. Good answer. I like lavender a lot. I yes. have a nice lavender room spray that I'll spray and just makes me feel better. Um, also, the smell of onions and garlic cooking is pretty nice, mm. too. That's a good one. Yeah. Classic, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I like the smell of morning dew. It's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I have to agree with Mel, Mel on the, the garlic one, uh, but also... Uh, Pine trees come to mind. Mm, mm -hmm. yes. Very Vermont scent. I'm going to go with Coco Mademoiselle. Oh. <laughs> very specific and a very good scent. <laughs> um, okay. Last question. This one is also a... It'll stump yet, right. but think hard. If you could add any president, dead or alive, to any band, Ooh. what president oh, wow. and what band? Oh, wow. Yeah, use oh. your imagination. It's really testing your knowledge of the US president. <laughs> <laughs> you, and we love it when people go obscure. Yeah. Garfield. Buchanan. <laughs> Ooh, Buchanan. <laughs> Oh, You're ready with that one. I don't know. I feel like I feel like Lincoln would do well in Devo because he's already got the funny hat. Totally. Oh, so we'll do, yeah. We'll go with that. We'll dad joke her way out of this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just I don't know. Just because it'd be absolutely ridiculous. Maybe uh, Nixon in Smash Mouth. <laughs> oh. <laughs> How about Barack Obama in Mitski's band? Oh Whoa! Is it, he's a big fan, right? He he's a Mitski guy. Um, I'd probably like to see JFK in some kind of crazy punk band, maybe like Black Flag or something like that. Mm. The Dead Kennedys, perhaps? I Who would be good in the B-52s? Maybe like... Calvin Coolidge. Oh, yeah. Why not? Go local. Only for for sure. <laughs> Great. Farm to table present. Great present. Answer. 
Any answers from the from the interviewers? I'm turning it on you. Oh boy. Mm. Oh jeez. Now I'm on the spot. I I want to put William Howard Taft in the Spice Girls. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Show me spice. Jordan. What are we? Hmm. I actually know next to nothing about any U.S. presidents. I'm so bad with history. I yeah. could not tell you, not even, not even a little bit. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm stumped on that one. I'm thinking George Washington and Bikini Kill. Oh. Mm, yeah. yeah. Okay. That's good, actually. I thought you were gonna say George Bush. Okay, Bush and Bikini Kill could work. <laughs> Good combos. All good oh, combos. Yeah. They were all great. I think those would all be shows I'd want to go see. Yeah. For it, very entertaining. Yeah. <laughs> great. Okay. So we have, we only have a few minutes left. So real quickly, can we go over again? Uh, where to find your music? Where to find updates? How to spell your name? Sure. Yeah. yeah. Um, you uh, you can go to Bandcamp at. Uh, Let's see, R E M I R U S S I N dot bandcamp dot com. Um, or you can, t- you can take the dot bandcamp dot com off and type that into anything on the internet and it'll probably come up. Um, you can look for math underscore four underscore poets on Instagram. Um, honestly, math for poets will probably get you there uh, on, on any, any streamer as well. Um, yeah, and, and I'm also I'm I'm in Burlington. I'm around. Come say hi. Nice. Like. <laughs> also, okay, we fell behind on the chat. We forgot. Uh, first time hearing Remy Russin band, and they are great. And um, that was the same person as who asked uh, your first live show. And then we got another question. And then y'all have one more song, right? Uh, do you want to tune your guitars up? Can you do one more? No, no requirement, but if you'd like to play us out after a question. Let's let's give a soft yes, and if the string doesn't break, we'll do it. Okay, can I ask one more song from the chat real quick? Sure. Okay, the question asked was, favorite song when you're sad? Oh, Uh, helps you feel happy, maybe? I don't know. Could be interpreted in many ways. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I usually just, like, just, just stew in it and put yeah. on like Father John Misty and, oh boy. and just like just yeah. Chateau Lobby yeah exactly <laughs> just just really really make it worse yeah <laughs> I uh am known to put on the Blood Bank EP by Bon Iver mm-hmm. and just cry through the entire oh, thing yeah. and then I usually feel good yeah. afterwards <laughs> We got some tuning going on, some mic passing going on. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Basically, anything by Phoebe Bridgers. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Any Elliot Smith fans in this band? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm on the spot. Uh, full disclosure, I haven't lo- listened to a lot of Elliot Smith, but um, I think sad song for me lately actually has been, uh, Black, uh, not Black Star, Lazarus, David Bowie. Uh, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a bummer. <laughs> These are all excellent answers. All right, I'll hold it for you if you've got one. What's the question? <laughs> Your favorite song when you're sad. Um, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. <laughs> you know, yeah, no worries. All right. So... We only have a few more minutes, so we'd Just love to... He- yeah, oh, no rush, no rush. Just letting in the listeners know what's going on. <laughs> listeners, there is so much tuning, so much um, moving around, collaboration. Very high energy in the studio right now. Oh, yeah. It's amazing to watch. All right. We're going off book. Ooh.
For listeners, that was uh, Kyoto by Phoebe Bridgers was the final answer to the sad song question. <laughs> yes. All right. That takes us to the end of our time. This has been WRUV Exposure with Remy Russin. Is there anything mm-hmm. you'd like to end on? No, just thanks for having us. You know, oh, thank, you for yeah, thank, thank you for being coming. here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Great. All right. We'll turn it back over to the booth. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> so thank you, y'all. Yeah, yeah thank, thank you. you.